back everyone to this week in geek over the course of the past 12 days we've had so much information pouring through the consortium feed movie trailers dropping left to right and so much rumors and stuff coming through it's been overwhelming and in the course of those 12 days we've had three big movie trailers drop first one justice league now if you follow consortium know myself i'm not overly happy with how the DC Universe in the films is panning out, but a lot of people are. So, and this, the, the Justice League trailer actually got my hopes up. So, we're going to take a look at that. Right after that drop came Spider-Man Homecoming. Big anticipation for this film. And then right after that, we got the Thor Ragnarok trailer. Holy crap, did that look just insane. And not only that, but even this week is the Star Wars Celebration 40th anniversary. So, we're going to have so much information pouring in just on that. It, it, it's, it's, it's just getting ridiculous. It is a great time to be a geek, a phenomenal time to be alive. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at all three of those trailers, Justice League, Spider-Man, Thor, and another trailer I'm going to show you from the, uh, the director that brought us The Fifth Element, Luke Besson. He's got a new movie coming out. It looks fantastic. It was the comic strip from the 60s that actually helped George Lucas inspire Star Wars. So first thing we're going to take a look at is The Justice League. For, it's not me. You're the Batman. They said the age of heroes would never come again. It has to. Superpowers again? I'm rich. One thing I can tell you is you got to be free. My turn. Come together. Right now, right now. Come together. Right now. Shall we? It's good to see you playing well with others again. Just like a bat. I dig it. Maybe temporary. Maybe Jack Snyder's got his nose out of the ground. Maybe he's been picked up. To me, this looks fantastic. I wasn't too keen on Cyborg. He looked a little iffy. Maybe the CG wasn't done. But holy crap, they made Aquaman look amazing. And I'm not an Aquaman fan, but I'm excited to see Aquaman. So that says a lot for this, the, the, the trailer. I'm a big fan of Affleck being Batman. Gal Gadot pff, knocking it out of the park. The only thing we're missing, Superman. We haven't seen a whole lot from that, but I have, uh, this is the first DC film that's given me a whole lot of faith and a lot of, uh, I'm waiting to see this one. So hopefully they've cleared up all the things that the fans have been unhappy with through Man of Steel and Batman versus Superman. Only time will tell. We'll find out this year because 2017 is looking to be insane for geeks. So jump on the other side of the fence, Marvel. They dropped us the Spider-Man Homecoming, the first, the first full film of Spider-Man in the, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And he's got a cameo from Iron Man himself. 
So now let's take a quick look at Spider-Man Homecoming. Whoa. What's up, guys? So, to become an Avenger, are there like trials or an interview? Do me a favor. Can't you just be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? Just stay close to the ground. You're the Spider-Man from YouTube. Can you summon an army of spiders? No, Ned, no. Do you know him too? I stole his shield. Can I try the suit on? Badass. The rich and the powerful, like Stark, they don't care about us. The world's changing, boys. Time we change, too. These weapons are crazy dangerous. Listen, Peter, forget the flying monster guy. There are people who handle this sort of thing. The illegal weapons ferry was at 2.30. You missed it. Somebody had died. I was just trying to be like you. I wanted you to be better. I'm gonna need the suit back. But I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. I screwed up. You need to stop carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. I want you to understand. I'll do anything to protect my family. I know you know what I'm talking about. So don't mess with me. I will kill you and everybody you love. My friends are up there! The guy is still out there. I just gotta do this on my own. Just don't do anything stupid. I got this. All right? Yeah. Spider-Man. First time he's in the MCU. And technically the second time he's shut up in Civil War here. But the first full-time movie he's getting, we're skipping over the the origin story, which is fantastic because if you're like me, you're tired of seeing Uncle Ben die. So Michael Keaton looks insane as the Vulture. He's it's it's awesome that they've gone with the the older guy, the the Adrian Toomes. That's the older man. Um, we got a little bit of shocker. So could this be Prelude to the Sinister Six showing up? I hope. Spider Man looks fantastic. It looks like they finally knocked one out of the park with this one. Not that Marvel hasn't done that in the past. They had their clunkers. They're not perfect, but they maybe this finally time we've gotten to see Spider Man right. I was a big fan of the original ones until third. Toby Toby Maguire was my favorite Spider Man. Amazing Spider Man, Amazing Spider Man Two. They had some good parts, they had some bad parts. I've got faith from seeing these trailers and seeing everything come out. This is going to be the epic Spider-Man we've been waiting for. So, we're gonna jump past Spider-Man and onto Thor. Now we've seen some pictures and images from Thor, seeing this, the new colors, short, Thor with the short hair, and some glimpses of Hela. And this past week, Marvel was nice enough to drop us and surprise us with Thor Ragnarok. you're thinking. How did this happen? Well, it's a long story. Asgard is dead. Whatever 
brought you today? Tell me. A contender. It's main event time. He's a friend from work. Oh, come on. Yes! I'm sorry. I've been geeking out for that one. Watch it probably about 30,000 times. It's fantastic. I know a lot of people are complaining and saying they're seeing a lot of similarities between that and the Guardians trailers, but Thor 2 was so dark. They they the, the the they used some tints and over it and, and some filters and Thor the Dark World so it was very dark and it wasn't as popular as the first Thor. This looks like they've taken again like DC is doing with, with Justice League taking the they heard the complaints of the fans and they're changing it and this looks fantastic. I cannot wait for this one. It's got a fantastic feel. It it, it, it shows some of my theories. I think that they've taken the. Thor, uh, the unworthy storyline, and mixed it with uh, World War Hulk. So I'm expecting to see a lot of similarities between those two come into play. This is going to be a big year. Holy shit. The last trailer we're going to look at is one that is a surprise, I feel, that is from the creator of The Fifth Element, director Luke Besson. Now he's taken a, uh, a comic strip that was from the 60s, a French comic strip, and this is one of the comic strips that actually inspired George Lucas to give us Star Wars. So we're going to take a look at Valerian and Thousand Planets. Home sweet home. Because the sky is blue, it makes me We get on just great. You flirt. I smile. Yeah, we're a team. That looks gorgeous. The colors, the visuals, amazing. I actually want to go back now and, and, and do a little bit of research and look into this series and see what it was all about. The imagery, the, it looks fantastic. The trailer blew me away. I really think this is going to be a sleeper hit of the summertime. I'm looking forward to seeing this. So now we've got our trailers out of the way. Let's talk next about Star Wars. These are the droids you're looking for. Star Wars Celebration starts this week, April 13th, lasting through April 16th down in Orlando, Florida. There's going to be so much information pouring out of this event. The, the news feeds are already starting up. Rumors about the next Star Wars film. Rumors about the Han Solo film coming out. Things are popping out left and right. 
And we already have, we have one member of the consortium that's actually down there. He's going to be sending me video. I look forward to seeing what Tom Finley is going to be sending us. One of our consortium members who is a member of the 501st. I was talking to him earlier today. He's going to send me a lot of video, as much video footage as he can get. So stay tuned to the consortium. Stay tuned to this YouTube page. We're going to be bringing you everything we can, everything we can get our grubby little geeky hands on, we'll be bringing to you. So click that subscribe button. Click that like button. Find us on, on Facebook, the Consortium for the Greater Geek, and we stay tuned.